Dot product is an operation which given the two vectors of equal length outputs a scalar value. Let's consider the vectors A and B. The first step towards obtaining the dot product of these vectors is to obtain the transpose of one of the vectors. Let's write down the transpose of A. Now we need to obtain the product of B and the transpose of A. To obtain this product, we multiply the elements in the columns of the first matrix with the elements in the rows of the second matrix and add them up. In our case, the first element in the first matrix is number 1. And the first element in the second matrix is number 7. We multiply these, and proceed to the next elements in the sequence. In the second column of the first matrix we have 3. In the second row of the second matrix we have 9. We multiply these and continue. In the third column of the first matrix we have 5. In the third row of the second matrix, we have 11. We multiply these two. Now, we need to sum up the answers obtained through these multiplications. We see that the dot product of A and B is 89. Matrix multiplication is an operation, which produces a matrix from two matrices. If you know how to do the dot product, matrix multiplication is simply the dot product repeated as many times as needed. Let's consider the matrices A and B. Notice, that matrix A has as many columns as the matrix B has rows. This is a necessary condition, if we want to obtain a matrix product of two matrices. Now, let's do an example. First, we obtain the dot product of the first row of A and the first column of B. The result is 58. Since this answer was obtained from the first row and the first column, we write the result in the first row of the first column in the resulting matrix. Next, let's obtain the dot product of the first row of A and the second column of B. The answer is 64. We write 64 in the first row of the second column. Now, let's obtain the dot product of the second row of A, and the first column of B. The answer is 139. We write it in the second row of the first column. Finally, the dot product of the second row of A and the second column of B is 154. We write this in the second row of the second column of the resulting matrix. Element wise, or Automar product, outputs a matrix, containing the product of individual elements. In our example, we have two, two by two matrices. We multiply the elements in the both matrices that have the same position, and write the result for that position. For example, 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 8 is 16. 4 times 9 is 36. 5 times 10 is 50.